If you're saving money right now, it is an indication that you, you, you know you don't have a strategy. My goal is to meet as many people on this planet as possible, people that are positive, people that have more time to create than to be critical, more time to hustle than they have to hate, and they want to actually add strategy and techniques that are proven to grow their business so that they can take care of their family and their church. Uh, I realize a lot of people here have already started their businesses. Uh, based off what you've learned so far, what would you do differently about when you first started your businesses? I would spend more money. Would you I have done have, it I sooner? Spent, I shouldn't have been saving money in the beginning. I should have been spending my money. All of it, huh? I was so scared because I didn't have a plan. You can't have courage. I had courage. I had raw courage, but I had so much doubt about money that it destroyed my courage. If you're saving money right now, it is an indication that you, you, you know you don't have a strategy. And that's why you don't spend money. Every penny I got, literally, I should have been going into debt when I was 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, all through my 40s. I would be so rich today, it would be unbelievable. If I would have trusted a strategy, if I'd have had partners, if I'd have had somebody saying, hey, man, you want to go here? And you should go here? If I'd have had somebody encouraging me to go, hey, go way up here, you could do this, you could do anything you want, I, I would have been pouring money into the brand and building the brand out. Yes, sir. Well, the question I have for you is, if you were starting over again today, um, in today's day and age, with social media present, would you be focused on developing your skills and creating results for yourself before you went and spoke on social media? Or would you be speaking on social media as you're developing the skills in the day-to-day, nitty-gritty basis of it? Well, I, I, always, I always go speak on something I know. I don't, I don't just make stuff up. And, so anything that I'm telling you today, I've done, I'm, I'm playing with it. We're playing with it. Like TikTok, I don't, I don't know anything about TikTok. I, you know, but three years ago, I had to tell you, I don't know anything about Instagram. I was failing with it. I was like, this is, I don't even understand the whole vibe of the deal. Uh, but I will tell you, all these social mediums are all going to go away. It's just when they're going to go away. And it's going to become some, something else. The, the guy or gal, the, the company that's going to win on social media is the person that knows how to communicate. Whether you do that from a stage... Uh, whether I do it on the phone with him, whether I do it on a DM, I've DM this guy. Okay, I could DM, I could text somebody, right? I could uh, negotiate a deal over the phone. I need a conference call. The, 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 none of this is any different, guys. You're just communicating. Communication is communication. And writing a letter is still valuable. How many agree right, writing a hand? Uh, that's a valuable thing. Uh, so, so these are just, would I teach it? There is no money on a stage. There's no money on that stage. Y'all yo, yo look up there. Any money on that stage? The money's in these chairs right here. Can I fill a room up? You can't fill a room up. That is the seniority. Fill the room up. How do you fill the room up? You got to get a big funnel of people talking about you, thinking about you, knowing you. Okay? Yes, sir. Right here. I just flew here from Toronto. I'm a sales guy at a window company as well, just like my boy over yeah. there. Um, but the, the, it's the biggest company in Ontario, but there's no culture whatsoever as far as the sales go. We yeah. were just taken over by yeah. a multi-billion dollar conglomerate. You were um, taking over one? No, we were just they bought took out it, by they one. They took it over you. Yeah, so yeah. my question is, uh, do I go after my boss's job to create the culture that we're looking for, or do I just stick it out, or am I looking for something new? You know, come and create something new, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you need to solve problems in that organization. you got a multi-billion dollar organization that bought your company. That means they got endless money. Number two, <laughs> that company has one big problem. I guarantee you they have a problem called people. More, more importantly, great people. Not people with ideas, but people that move the bar. How many of you in the room just want somebody to move a bar? Don't tell me about the problems. Don't tell me about your ideas. Just move the bar. Take the number from 10 to 100 and say, look what I did. And then say 100 to 1,000. And then, that's what I want. I don't, I don't want everybody's ideas. I, I want just move the bar for me, bro. Do what I can't do for myself. Yes, ma'am.